Oh, Bada, you do go before someone. Whoa, oh. really? Yeah. Is it Zaus? No. <laughs> Zaus has good, uh, good modifier. Poor Caruso, gone forever. Jeez. That sounds bitter, like you wanted them to stick around. But additional shipping options. Sam isn't like spies. Says the spy. <laughs> Last we left off, the party was on their way out of town. Unopposed, unbothered, and uninteracted with by the population, which had felt the mighty roar of a exploding building... And the absence of their on-duty guard for the shift that day. Arden wants to go back to town. That's wonderful. What does your party feel? <laughs> <laughs> but why? Well, um, Munis uh, told us not to interact with uh, anybody from the Cobble family, so... Um, I am going to be a shit and suggest that we uh, stop by the Rat Bucket Inn and interact with the member of the family who uh, self-exiled herself. Is this... Are you guys RPing or talking to each other? Like, like what is going <laughs> on here? It's kind of <laughs> Somewhere weird. in between. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> so so then my sort of pseudo in character, is is it wise to provoke Mutus? <laughs> <laughs> I guess what was what was Minus' actual words like this the family here or the family completely I think he said to leave the Cobble family alone. Wouldn't wouldn't Cassie be part of the Pope uh, considered still? She insisted that she wasn't part of the family anymore last time I saw her. As far as Her opinion doesn't concerned. matter. I don't think <laughs> Her opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Um Arden steps out of the wagon for a moment. It's moving, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so do, do a tumble check. Tuck, tuck, and roll. <laughs> Arden has this whole head kit and thing, and it's just like... A actually, <laughs> actually, if we, w if we really want to do it that way, um, Arden's going to flex his new ring of feather fall and d gently fall to the ground <laughs> seamlessly. So wait, we're like just... I'm I'm whacking the beetles. They're going down the road, well, and you don't just say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm beetle whacking, and and you just open the door and 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 float down, like not saying anything. Well, if I'm making a tumble check, then I might as might as well be flourished about it. Um, okay, are are you guys going to react? Because I guess you're all in the back Baron, of the wagon. Stop the cart. What? Man Sam overboard. Sam blinks and shrugs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was bouncing on the railing and I fell. Theron does some more beetle whacking to to make the beetle stop. Mm, handle animal. Ah, <laughs> there it is. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the first real roll. Handle animal? Is it under handle? It's Christmas. Cool. It's eleven. Alrighty then. <laughs> Arden, high or low? Hi. Theron successfully convinces the Bugaloo that they deserve a break. <laughs> they stop. Great, now they're not going to move again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so they get up to the water cooler, get a coffee and a smoke and... Start talking about Game of Thrones. No, they're talking about Linda in accounting. <laughs> they're casually waiting for their uh, the massage that's going to be coming their way. Oh, Theron, that's so nice of you. <laughs> From their pause, probably. I think with the... Uh, it's going to shift you high and know what's, what's coming. <laughs> well, none of you were seeing this. They're just giving me that, like, all... Oh, 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 and I'm like, I don't... I just look at my claws and go on, like, well, no. Hot top fingers would probably feel pretty nice. <laughs> Arden, where are you going? Nowhere. Um, <laughs> floats down to the ground. Is is that detect magic still running from a few minutes ago? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there a weird aura of divination in the sky above me? I mean, how far out does it let you see? 60 feet. That is a pretty sky. Unmarked by smoke. Of burning farmlands. 
Un, oh, unmarked by mm-hmm, unmarked. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that's an important part, an adjective in that sentence. Um, okay, but but no divination in the sky. Not that you're seeing. No. Oh. Hmm. Doesn't trust it. Logically, shouldn't trust it because obviously Munis knew that we were there. So somebody's probably scrying on us, just further away than I can see. <laughs> um. Which means it's. If I can't see it, I probably can't dispel it accurately. Yeah, why not? So, we'll just go with logical disbelief on that. So, um, Arden is going to look up at the sky. <laughs> this is going to make him sound really crazy. He's going to shout out the top of his lungs. Can I get a little privacy, please? So, everyone else in the cart, etc., Arden is just shouting outside for privacy into the sky with no context Theron looks back (laughs) slowly around the edge of the cart Sam sticks the burlap sack out the back of the cart huh? Theron's burlap sack hood why? why? privacy (laughs) 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 Sam is 12 and a half years old today (laughs) um and Arden is still going to probably spend a few minutes glaring into the sky and then return to the cart. Well, there, there is somebody that Zoss, Zoss knows here in town that I think he would be happy to see, but I can't necessarily uh, guarantee our privacy in the matter. So, um, well, yeah. It's just not safe. I'm sorry, Zoss. They fall off the bottom of the wagon. Oh. But I, I do have have something that could hopefully make this not, day not completely terrible for you, Zoss. What's that? You said before you don't know when your birthday is. Right. How about today? I I guess it could be. Well, you're you're literally a new person now, so Arden gestures for Zoss to enter the cart. They get in and sit down and try to knock off the dirt from their recent fall before getting inside. Everyone's looking at Arden, confused and concerned. Well, uh, Ar- Arden Arden reaches into his uh, pocket and pulls out the little ring of climbing and offers it to Zoss. They take the ring and everyone looking at them puts it on. Oh. What's it going to do? Uh, it helps you climb better. You said you wanted it before. Um, and I was worried that you were going to use it to climb somewhere and fall and have a terrible accident. But um, much like Theron, I think we should probably r- respect your your efforts to be more responsible. So... I'm I'm going to give you this ring um, in hopes that you will use it wisely and be careful. Thank you. I will be very responsible with this. (laughs) (laughs) And nobody in the car believed that. (laughs) Sam Sam pats Sal's shoulder. Mm -hmm. Sure, buddy. I will! (laughs) But just know that you've earned it. And going forward now, you're you're older and wiser and stronger. So, Theron walks around the cart to the open door. Older, um, how old are we going to decide his age finish today your, too? Finish your question oh, is that your whole? <gasps> yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if today's his birthday, might as well choose an age. <laughs> well, I took care of my siblings for at least twelve years. So twelve plus. Thirteen? No. Twenty-five? <laughs> <laughs> he is thirteen years old, so he was, at least. So taking care of his kids while he was a one-year-old? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'd have to assume that's at least four before. Six, at least going by human pools. Oh <laughs> Ew, what's that? Yeah. Is that human with a Y-U? Is, is, yeah. 
Who are you? What, two two O's. Who man? Oh, we have one of those in our group. For 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 what it looks for what it's worth, it looks like if somebody has shaved Sam, plucked his tail, and <laughs> disfigured his face. That's mean. It's your it's your it's your genome, Bo. Bo, bro. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, Zoss. I don't think you're twelve. Well, no. no I... <laughs> what do you think? He says he's been taking care of his siblings for 12 years. Yeah. He's, he didn't start doing that when he was born, Theron. No. Hey, hey, Zoss. Hmm. Um, does it snow on your farm when it yeah. gets cold? Yeah. How many times, how many cold seasons have you had? That I remember? Yeah. 12. <laughs> <laughs> 14? I fell out of a window into the snow once. My mom kept telling me about it. Oh my god, I think he's 21. He's probably 17. <laughs> 16 or 17 is my vote. Zoss, how old do you think you are? Um, I don't have to file taxes yet. <laughs> 16 at the youngest. 16 at the youngest. 18 at the oldest. You know, you just raise your hand if you think he's... Okay, why don't we go with the median and just go 17? All right, that's fine. <laughs> oh, when I was uh, working on my new body at the Spire, there, there was an option that came up. It asked me if uh, I wanted to be well-nourished. Well-nourished? Like, fed? I, maybe? I don't even... I don't... I'm not used to hearing that word. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> as far as what in this scenario, do you just move like the fat slider all the way for your character creation? <laughs> How well they ate growing up. <laughs> Suddenly thick. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so Theron levels her eyes at Zoss and goes, "Okay, Zoss, you're 17. Does that sound right? 17, almost an adult, almost ready to pay taxes." Maybe get in your own apartment? Yeah, Mom told me how. And the key is as little as possible. Surely there's some paperwork about Sauce. My, my name is Arden, not Shirley. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Arden has a spear. <laughs> just, just antagonizing everyone. All right, fine. Sweetie. <laughs> <Have a name. laughs> sweetie, pulling out the sweetie. Don't they? Don't they keep paperwork of, of you know people's births? They uh, uh, in Atlas they keep paperwork of people's births um, if they were born under legitimate means right. with a physician that is willing to record the birth. I think a tax collector is more likely to have an accurate record. <laughs> Sam, Sam reminds Bada, it's a little less formal out here. I, I, I see. And besides Bismatum, do you guys keep fastidious birth records? Yes. If, if we want an official record, we can probably come do that when we come back. We're coming back? I would hope so. I thought we were going to live at an inn on the side of a mountain next to Bismatum. Not right now. What? It's an inn? Huh? Anyways. No. <laughs> We're going off track again. You've been listening to your bed and breakfast ideas. Oh, because those were extremely in-character conversations. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. it's, it's Theron's and Sam's bed and breakfast, but if you guys want us to work there, that's fine. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I said nothing about a bed and breakfast. Sam? Sam only said he owned half a mansion. And doesn't even know where it is. Boy, daylight sure is a burden. We should probably hit the road soon. Uh, Tell someone who jumped out of the wagon. <laughs> I, have, I have returned to the wagon for privacy. But it's not private in here. No, it's not. I don't think anything's going to be private. Do you need us to give you some private time? <laughs> like, we can go outside the wagon if that's what you want. Arden explodes. <laughs> Arden's got that look. I'm going to go crawl under the wagon again. They go. I guess the ring should be good for yeah. wagon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, um, perhaps you should also teach him how to fall 
slowly as well, since he's going to be climbing, I assume, high, high places. I can try to teach him that, but um, what he learns is... I, I, I learn magic through study and research. He learns uh, magic through nature. It's a, it's a part of him. I, I can attempt to teach him how to cast it, but I, I can make no guarantees that it will stick. So we have to drop him off high heights to practice him learning this. <laughs> but let's, let's just, you know, we should really get on the road. So, uh, what is today? Because um, it's, it's a, this is a market event. Well, I believe that this would have happened around midday, leaving town. I, I, are you asking for a date? Yes, because it's a birthday. That okay? So I could get you that date, but it will. I will have to read a lot, or we could it, just make it up. There is a calendar, and there is a date process that I followed for all the letters I wrote to Akuma. So there is an established date and timeline. I just need to. That will be Arden homework. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I retract my question then. Too late. So yes, I can answer that, but or, we can splice that in later. Or we can make it the day we were in the spire. Uh, yeah. Well, same problem still occurs. <laughs> So it can be a traumatic event instead of a celebratory one. Oh, he was weirdly untraumatized by that whole calamity. Why are we not driving? <laughs> <laughs> Theron just looks confused, standing at the door of the wagon, like, okay, I'll get back to driving to Bismatum, I guess. Unless you want to get out of the wagon again. The door is shut. <laughs> <laughs> Firmly and soundly. Like, was it slowly or slammed in my face? Firmly. Harumph. Bada, where are you? Hopefully in the wagon. I don't think I ever got out. Do you want to stay in the wagon with disgruntled Arden? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that was a loaded question. <laughs> oh, he did say he wanted some privacy. <laughs> which, which is which is better for you, a reflex saver or a will save? Don't don't answer him. <laughs> don't answer him. No, no, no. It's fine. If you want to leave, that's fine. So Sam blinks and clambers out of the front of the wagon onto the seat. Theron is, wait, Theron. Yeah, Theron is very glad <laughs> she's not inside this wagon right now. Um, should I roll to ride, or does yes. anybody else have anything weird to suggest? <laughs> Same helps there. <laughs> Nat 20 on whatever you just rolled. Yeah, what are you rolling for? I'm helping you oh. get going. <laughs> so go ahead and roll. Oh, oh you're just like, let's get... Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, that's... I win the ride. <laughs> I win the ride. 24. I say, hiya, uh, Rudolph and Blitzen. It's and they Susie listen and to Marcus. me. Don't care if they listen to me. <laughs> but Jesus, even I knew that one. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the it, window it, to the front of the cart is closed. <laughs> and I guess ride means we're going in the right direction, because there so, was on the um, impression we're going to Bismatum. That but... is a, it is a wonderful oh. thing that you have the bugs moving and that you're headed somewhere. Oh. Survival check you don't to know direct that. properly. What's there? Do, do Assist. We, do you want to try and find that mansion? <laughs> God, it is just you two. You two tell us where to go. <laughs> Conspiracy time. Theron looks over at Sam. It's like, did you just really suggest that? I mean, it's kind of on the way. Out of character. That should be really fun. <laughs> it's actually about a week out of the way. If you guys feel like going to the mansion is going to be a fun experience, you should go to the mansion and just be like... And not tell you guys? I mean, we're not going to leave the wagon for the next you week even, anyway. You didn't even want to tell them it existed. <laughs> I didn't, because it had nothing to do with... The, we're going to... No, just a second. I'm just like, just beyond, like... This is more Everybody remember that like we're going to the cradle of life <laughs> to prevent the end of the world. Sam obviously has other things in mind. <laughs> so Sam, explain to me why you think this is a good idea 
because the end of the world can be delayed for two weeks. Because Sam believed that it wasn't that far out of the way, but now all the distances are shifting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought it was going to be a long way. Yeah, I thought it was like, it's like maybe a day detour. I, I, it would, it point. would, that would be some mental gymnastics for us to like take two weeks to go somewhere when we're trying to prevent the end of the world. Because we actually know the end of the world is coming. Have you have you played Final Fantasy VII before? <laughs> Theron turns around quite loudly and goes, Hey guys, do you want to go to the mansion instead of Bismatum? She she may be upset, I told you all. The window's still closed, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably opens it. What'd you say? Probably nothing important. I'm uh, screaming at her hands again, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sam just says, fine, fine, we'll check it out later. No, no. Open open the window and ask him right now. She <laughs> whacks the beetles some more. <laughs> Sam opens the window and looks directly at Arden and says, hey, you want to go on a detour to a mansion? Why on earth would we do that? <laughs> <laughs> You tell me. <laughs> Sauce goes, yeah! <laughs> I, Ow! <laughs> considering the people that are after us, it would probably be worthwhile to have a place to lay low, but I doubt this is a mansion, considering you won it in a game of bingo. <laughs> would, would Arden even know what bingo I don't is? know, but... No, 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 I know you didn't. Okay, sorry. Would this even be a worthwhile venture, considering you gambled it off of somebody? The somebody in question was very very rich how do you know i believe the description was it was gold trimmed monocle wearing hippo man i'm sorry the monopoly man <laughs> the hippo version i don't know what that is what's monopoly yeah what's monopoly? oh um it's what uh theron's family did to uh sam's company oh yeah very rich yeah so there could be some value in going there um how much of a detour is it? Make a survival check. Theron was ready. A 17. 16. Oh, the hard part is you don't have like a clear identifier of where it's at. It's just up north about nine days, which is entirely dependent on somebody's pace. What about knowledge geography? Go for it. <laughs> Not well. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> it could be anywhere from a couple days to two weeks. It may be too far out of the way. As we seem to have a penchant for rooting every town that we go into, um, perhaps there should be something we could um, investigate when we depart. Everyone nods in agreement. <laughs> that we ruin every town that we enter? Yes. That too? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Theron does not nod in agreement. She is just still looking forward and makes a humph sound. Wait, we do ruin every time we, we do. Vata has concerns. <laughs> if you wish to imprison us immediately, I understand. <laughs> it would be a good place to lay low. Well, we don't have time to lay low. Afterward. So let's keep going to Bismatum then. So I was yeah. going to slowly close the window because <laughs> we wanted some privacy, apparently, for some reason. Question mark. <laughs> Are you asking us or yourself? No, he's asking me because even though I explained that somebody was like magically spying on us, nobody seems to buy it. You're the only one who has spellcraft. <laughs> but I can but I can say somebody's magically spying on us and everybody's like, okay, crazy. Well, so that's why I'm well, closing the window. Right? And, and it's the person who can involuntarily make fire come out of their hands you, and cook the kimchi. How do you want them to stop spying on us? I can't do anything about it. Oh. Then why are we closing the window? You're closing the window. You you were closing the window. You guys closed the window first. On Arden because he closed the door up there. Oh. <laughs> Parallelism. I, maybe we just need to stop an inn because I think we're all hangry. <laughs> <laughs> Sam rolled an 18 on survival for going to Bismadoom. They can provide directions and um, Zaz is currently collecting roadkill. Like what? As we go? Yeah. That's gross. Why are you guys running over stuff? 
Are the bugs killing things by running into them? Smaller bugs. Oh, okay. How fast are you going? <laughs> Pretty fast. Well, well, if, uh, if we can just like fast travel at this point, do I need to roll something to go or just go off uh, Sam's roll? Oh, they've, they've got enough to get you closer. Is there anywhere you were trying to get to before Bismatum? Are there any towns or anything you wanted to stop by in? Um, Theron was only aware of Bismatum. Um, Arden is going to spend an hour each night before bed uh, working on his meditation. Concentration check. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Mata will be... Oh, that was nice for a second. That was nice for a second, but that's still an 18. Okay. Bata, are you meditating? Bata will be joining him as well, as per... Uh, um, and as, as per safety regulation, we will meditate back-to-back... To re- <laughs> but <What>? it explodes. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? The curse continues. Concentration check, you said? Mm-hmm. Yep. The curse of Karas. Eight. So, as you settle into your meditation, Arden, you feel warmth. Great warmth coming from the other side of you, beyond your back. And you can feel the light in the room bend with your through your eyelids. I'm glad that turned a different way. (laughs) 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 This is where I imagine that, like, as each night goes on, we set up buckets just, like, hanging from the the beam on the ceiling, and you just push it over as these two start (laughs) meditating. It is not being done in the wagon. <laughs> oh, I thought we would just go all night. Since we're in such a rush. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> how, how is Theron the only sane one here? <laughs> she is? Yes! Wow. That's that's a harsh comparison. You're the one that's... Oh, you didn't stop the card in the first... Anyways... <laughs> Yes, concern over because oh, why is it why is it fire? So, so we're not in the carts when these are happening. No. Oh, I assumed okay. you were. No. Yeah, see, I assu- it made it sound like you guys were doing this just like at. at I, assume we would, I guess because why stop at night? Because yeah, why why would you stop? Is the impression I had. Oh, oh what? so the animals don't die. Yeah. Well, yeah. Are we like in a? Are we like, <laughs> oh, hold on. Are we like days away? Like, is this going to be like several stops and sleeping and tenting and whatnot? Mm, yeah, you're a few days away. Okay. <laughs> We're stopping the cart on night time to go to sleep. Set up camp. Set up camp. You were in the middle of yes, telling... Yes. I know, it completely derailed the kids. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, where, where were we at? You were describing what was happening when these two were meditating back to back. Uh-huh. Yeah, we, we and just... there was flavored air and a warm feeling and bent light <laughs> yeah, and, and little we, bits of flame. We need to establish where everyone is at when that's happening. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Because just imagine a bunch of just fires floating around and just bapping into the sides of the wagon. We're not in the wagon. But, but you could be. I could be. I was explicitly told never to meditate again until we were off a flammable vessel. True. Mm. This is correct. <laughs> so, now that we are on no longer staying in an inn... Or on a on a ship, then okay. Logically, this is going to be like hell to edit. So, you're going to have to start the thing you want to do over. Okay. Each each evening when we stop, <laughs> Arden is going to spend about an hour each evening um, working on his meditation. <laughs> All right. You wanted to sit down for meditations, and Arden, you rolled an eighteen. And Bada, you rolled an eight. Oh, I, for- I should re-roll it. I forgot. <laughs> it couldn't have been higher than an eight. You're you're only gonna live roll lower. Don't it was stick eight. with I, it. I, it, I, was I, <laughs> it was eight. It was eight. Commit to the eight. So you got like tent set up outside, kind of situation. Do you need a tent? Is it bad weather? It's pretty calm summerish. Summerish? Um, no, it's it's fall weather. Yeah, you'll be fine. There is sleeping on top of the the uh, wagon. Where are you sleeping, Arden? Is it a bottom bed? <laughs> Staring daggers at me or something? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, uh, what, how, how does, how, what sort of sleeping arrangements does Bada want? 
Yeah. Here's what I see Bada doing. The whole, like, furry on the bed with the pads. <laughs> He's like, pads. come on, dude. Come on, bro. <laughs> they rub a pillow next to them, it looks like. Yep. So those two sleep in the wagon. If we've never discussed this, like, like ever before traveling, so I'm very confused. By yeah. The um, sudden change. We haven't discussed something like this since we started the podcast. Yeah, since season one. Yeah. It was a thing in season one. Oh, heck. Yes, there's the tent. I assume we have tents. We still have yeah, we still have tents. Yeah, right? we yeah. still have tents. I don't have mine. I don't know what happened to it. What happened to your tent? What didn't happen to our <laughs> stuff? <laughs> uh, well, uh, Bada will. Um... I have a nice tent. Two to three people, blood soaked. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> blood soaked. <laughs> if no one else has one, you're using the blood soaked tent. <laughs> Let's hope it rains tonight. <laughs> I have a t- silky tent. Ah, blood soaked. <laughs> well, I, I assume Sam's sharing a tent with Theron and Sam doesn't have a tent. Theron's or, sleeping on top of the caravan. <laughs> yep. Or, or Sam is sleeping inside the wagon. I assumed you two would be in the wagon. They have a silky tent. Well, if they're fine, Sam will just sleep on the ground next to the campfire in his bed. And Zaz will sleep in the hammock they made underneath the cart. I saw some little hammock there. That's pretty cute. Oh, okay. God. Ar- Arden will sleep with Bada. Take that as you will. Blush. <laughs> and that night, Bada slept a little warmer than normal. Oh. But you wanted to do meditations before <laughs> rest. Yes. Outside the tent. Outside the flammable tent. Bada, how do you feel about that order? Oh, he's in. He's in command here. That's fine. He knows what he. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Shobara. <laughs> no, no, don't. Make me. How close to the road are you? When you're doing this. I uh, don't. Don't ask me. He's the uh, one. How close you? to the road? Because the rest is like semi-tall grass. Oh. Uh, rolling fields. Well, um, bathed in Karasa's light. And we'll take out his candle. <laughs> I, I've held onto a single candle. Or if somebody has a lantern or a torch or something like that, something we could possibly put in the road to possibly mark. Well, actually, we're on the road to Bismatum. Yeah. It's very low traffic, right? Generally. Mostly just trade people going up there, but like it's not like a hub. Probably not a lot of the night traffic. No. Then, yeah, I will, I'll do the edge of the road. All right. Bada. Deep, deep in your meditation, you can feel the warmth of the dragon coursing through you Mm. and slipping out of you, little puffs. Feel tranced by it. Arden, as you're reaching into this state, what are you looking for? This is going to sound semi-evil, but... uh... Arden is going to reach as deep into the world below him to try and pull. What's the generic term for positive energy? Life? Chakra? Life magic? Life energy? Okay. Yeah, life. The essence of the living. Yeah. Yeah, semi evil. Continue. Um, and try and pull, pull some, some of that. Uh, life-giving energy of the, of the world up through the earth and out through his hands. As you do that, you take on a luminescent glow to those not in a state of trance. Sam, from the campfire, you can see down the road, and Bada and Arden are back-to-back in these meditative states. Arden is beginning to glow like the moon. And Bada has many small fires poofing in and out of existence around them, moving chaotically, sometimes into the grass. Is, is water freely available here? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there isn't like a stream, no. Oh. But it is a little more wet here. Seems the closer you get to Bismatum, the more veritable the life. So it's, it's damp. Where's Theron at? Theron is on the top of the caravan. Yep. Just minding your own business, huh? 
I guess I really didn't say if I was asleep or not, but since I was driving all day and doing all of the work, I think I'd be sleeping at this point. Half of the work? All the work. More than the two <laughs> chuckleheads is meditating. <laughs> Sam will sigh, get up, and just position closer to to the. I'm trying to come up with a nickname, but oh failing. yeah. Oh, oh, are we gonna get our power couple name? Or are we gonna be our Dada or Bardens? No, I was gonna say like Fluffheads or something. I don't know. Oh, that's cute. Oh, sleepy one, high or low? Low. I see. I see. You die. <laughs> you have, pterodactyl comes. Theron, you have a heart attack and you are out of the game. Yeah. <laughs> Theron, you, you are going to have very restful sleep. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. HP. It's as if you can't be bothered to wake up. You, you're, you're maxed out. Yeah, we should all be maxed out. Yeah. Fine. I'm maxed out. Oh, you're maxed right, out harder. Rat stab me. Yeah. Rat stabbing. Sam, how long do you want to stay up watching them? Because they might be at this for a while. Is there any indication that the fire is getting worse? There is a way to find out. Bada, please roll a concentration oh, check. Oh, no. Harden, please roll a concentration check. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, 28. 14. Bada, you feel as if your emotions are dancing around you, warm and comforting. <gasps> and your back to your petite beloved oh. is calming. And you can feel your grip on things getting a bit stronger. Your emotions are flowing less away from you and more dancing around you like a little small parade. Are you insinuating that the fire is dancing around me like a small little parade? Mm-hmm. Pink elephants on parade. I hope I don't set everything on fire. Well, that'll be something we can have in common. And we can bond over it. Oh, boy. Sam, you can see the fire around Bada now encompassing both them and Arden in a carousel style. Why fire? Just spinning around like the edges of a lazy Susan. Why fire? Why fire? Sam sighs again and we'll start clearing grass near the two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, firefighter Sam looking out for his friends. Midnight chores. Gotta love it. Arden? You feel the energy you're well, you're trying to pull out of the earth, pull out of the things around you. It's becoming even easier, at least for a little while now, to, to pull on that energy. It feels like it's drawing in the energies given off by Karasa, as if by controlling the one you're able to draw the other in, and they want to meld. Almost feels like something becoming whole. So the analogy is is that pulling on this energy makes me feel more complete? It feels as though the energy given off by Karasa is more completed by the energy from the er, the planet. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and for some reason, it's getting easier and easier to pull at that energy, but it may be unrelated or related to the grass cutting that um, Sam is doing around you. Just but call me Link for right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, Arden's pottery collection quivers in fear. <laughs> <laughs> there is a scent of fresh cut grass around you. Um, well, uh, I guess uh, Arden will attempt to capitalize on that and um, attempt to flow more energy, um, be a willing receptacle and conduit for that. Ah, wonderful. Very nice. Sam, please make a profession gardener check. <laughs> to cut grass? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't think he's like pulling out his little ruler and making sure it's exactly a half inch tall. Yeah. <laughs> 20 rupees. I will what's the, work when you're done. What's the profession modifier? Wisdom. Wisdom. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's not a one. Uh, four. Oof. <laughs> Lots of judging. You awaken Zaz and they join you. They think you're training and they respect you for it. That's actually totally fine. And they're trying to be quiet because two people are meditating. Zaz is just trying to cut the grass with quick swipes with their daggers. Sam is encouraging him. Make make cleaner, quicker cuts. <laughs> like nodding their head and and uh, like just going faster. I can see the whole montage in my head. <laughs> and you are asleep for it. Yeah, they're, just, yeah. they're just dreaming of this. You have such a glorious dream about like open fields and well-cut grass and just 
it feels also fresh. Like you're gonna have such amazing sleep. If you had damage, you'd recover double. Best sleep you've had in years. Okay. Fresh mountain air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On your way to somewhere where there's good clean environments. Please make a spellcraft, Jack Arden, as you channel this energy. That eight really likes you today. Uh, it was a six before, actually, but oh. that's a uh, twenty-nine. You feel as though you can direct this energy. Would you like to? Heck yes. Hmm. All right. <laughs> it feels as though you need somewhere to target it, to send it. Do you want to just go straight forward, or can I open my eyes? Yes. To you, see what you're going to see is Zaz and Sam cutting grass around you in a big circle. Or his eyes doing like the mage thing, where it's like. Pfft. A little bit of glowing energy flowing off of your eyebrows as you radiate this light. Okay. Um, Arden is going to take a deep breath and press his hands into the soil around the freshly cut grass. All right. And pour that energy into the soil around him. Please roll 2d8. Eight. As you pour out this light energy, the radiance off your body disappears and pours through the soil. All the cracks revealing the little bits of gravel and puffs of the dirt dehydrate and come up as dust. Oh. That's the exact opposite of what I was hoping it would do. Oh, that's destructive. Sam pulls Zaus away from the glowing ground. (laughs) Zaus is like, but it's cool. But we don't know what he's doing. But it sparkles, shines. So does fire. <laughs> You're right. And Zaz points over to Bada. Uh. Bada, please make a concentration check. No. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. no longer have the comforting warmth that you're back. I have 21. All right. What would you like to do with these emotions? These feelings you have? The connection to all these little bits of yourself around you. Am I aware that it's producing fire? No. (laughs) That would require a really good spellcraft check. Uh, Or opening your eyes. Don't do that. (laughs) God has spoken. God does not do that. You're you're in this trance state. Uh, Remember again what exactly it was... Yeah, what was Bada experiencing? It was the carousel around him, but not... Of little balls of fire poofing in and out of existence. I do know they're fire. What Bot is experiencing is all the things that have been happening in the last half a year buzzing around them. Oh, well, that's right. And you also, mm, you mentioned the dragon as well. Um, mm-hmm. The energy of the dragon coursing up into you. Bot is going to try to push away the energy of the dragon. Spellcraft check. I did not like that look. Oh, God. What's the spellcraft check? It's intelligence. Ten. All right. Mm. The energy of the dragon feels familiar. Okay. How familiar? It feels like, to a lesser extent, it's always been coursing through you. Oh, no. Go on. Like your breath. Or blood. But as you try to push it away, you can feel your emotions becoming more scattered and dancing around more. Which means that in the outside of the trance, they're flying into the grass a little more. I'm so sorry. I'm giving you more work. We, we cut the grass. <laughs> which is helping, because all you gotta do is like pat them out with your paws now, like stomp, stomp, stomp. But are they in the area that he's desecrated? <laughs> no, they seem to be able to avoid Arden. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Sam does his best to not start a forest fire. Survival check. That's a survival check? I'm surviving fire. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, you're not on fire. Uh, That's still a 14. Would this be considered a natural hazard? Yeah. 16. (laughs) (laughs) Zaz gets a good good one as well. Uh, you're going to be able to keep the fire from starting. Cutting the grass made that a lot more possible. Is is there more indication to seem that 
either of these two are losing control. Uh, looks like bottom might be a little. <laughs> Sam holds his house back. They have like a crown of fire right now. It's like, it's like yeah, I'm kind of worried about that. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. We will see. That's never a good sign to have a crown of fire. <laughs> it is for Eunice. Uh. <laughs> uh, Arden, as you're uh, praising the effects of what you've done, Bada's little fireballs are starting to turn around their head in a small vortex of fire, a crown, if you will. Is it a literal crown of fire, or is it a ring of fire about his head? A ring of fire that looks pretty. It so would... they have a vortex of fire, kind of like water when it's going down a drain. And the light from Karasa is getting bent inward toward it, causing weird distortions in the shadows around them. Arden, save me. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, okay. Bada, everything you've experienced in the last six months, imagine coming back to your folks and explaining that. Oh, no. <laughs> no. What kind of thing is that to say? Oh, my oh. God. Um, so, exactly what he wants. Um, that's a uh, 37 to um, on Spellcraft to analyze what exactly is happening. This is a primordial spell, or one that is not fully developed yet. One of the two. Can I craft a spell out of that with a 37? <laughs> Can you craft one with that? No, I don't have the money or the time. <laughs> Thought is an interesting test subject. What? Oh my god, no. <laughs> okay, um, so Arden is going to come around Bada and uh, take his hands and close his eyes. Bada, you need to focus. Relax. You're losing it a little bit. Rem remember what I said before? To breathe in and out. Can you do that for me? Yeah. I can try. No, he's gonna make me roll. <laughs> Concentration. No, check. I don't know what to roll, no. Wait, can, can I get an assist out of that? In this case, yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, that's that's a very successful assist on a 30. Cool. You'll get a plus two. Oh, no, whole 14 on concentration then. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> it is an improvement. For some reason, having Arden around makes you feel calmer. Oh, good. And the fire goes out. Oh, good. And then the lighter round your head, no longer drawn in by that crown, pours out over the both of you like a fog. Like a brilliant sparkling fog. Sparkles. Sparkles. And you open your eyes and Arden's there talking to you through it. Yeah, perhaps <laughs> I'm going to need more time with this meditation thing, apparently. It's okay. It's okay. Sam lets Zaus go. Oh, we're all done with the grass? That guys, was really cool. I want to you, try that. They no. point at Bada with like what happened. That was so cool. It's like you were drinking from the moon, like a glass of milk. That's not a good thing. Um, Ar Arden will just um, lean over and look around Bada and give Zoss the look. <laughs> we should go, Sam. Bada's in trouble. Sam, Sam tries to hide his smile with his little half cloak. Be like, "Yeah, sure." Let's go. <laughs> go back to bed. Kind of ushers him to the cart. They crawl underneath into their hammock. Just drinking from the moon. That's like a glass of milk. That's all you need is a big old glass of milk. Oh boy. Are are, are you okay, Bada? This is not. This is not gonna. Are you sure this is exactly what we should be doing? Well, I thought it would help you get in touch with your divine abilities, but I've never seen anything like that before. So, and I don't know what I just did, but um, it did the exact opposite of what I thought it was going to do. Um, I was hoping to pour life into something, and instead I just killed a bunch of grass. Um, you look around you, Bob, there's a ton of cut grass and, like, a spot in the ground that's kind of, like, steamy. So you just, just destroy this little space here? I wasn't trying to. Uh, so, a, a common trait 
a, a pretty common bit of knowledge, at least magically, as far as undead creatures go, is they are the antithesis of life. Their existence is an insult to life. So the, one of the most effective ways to destroy death or undeath is to give it life. And I was hoping to potentially draw on some of the light of the planet, uh, uh, the dragon, I think you called it, and try and pull some of that energy out like I did with the fire before and so that I could potentially protect us from Munis better. Is this normal for your teachings in Atlas to draw? I guess it is normal for you to draw power from or your energy from the earth. No, not necessarily. This is actually quite different. Um, I'm quite different. Uh, so I've, I've got... Uh, I don't even know how to explain this. Uh, casting a spell for a practiced spellcaster, such as um, ones from the Order, for the most part, is following an arcane formula and incantations and gestures that bend the natural energies of the world around you into a shape of your desire. Usually, like, being able to see magic is uh, the ability to... is pulling back, like, a layer of perception so that you can see the energies of the world around you. It's very forceful, but they're all tied to formulas and spells and everything. It's not, it's not fluid. And I was told uh, after the accident that what I did changed me because all the all of the healers couldn't even get rid of the scars on my arm and I couldn't fix it it was difficult to cast magic for years afterwards and even then up until the point in which I lost my body it it hurt me because I had to force the magic out of my body and now I don't have that problem anymore and I'm not really sure what's going on I wish I I, I wish I had a better answer but no no it's not it's not normal and it feels good. No, not good. It feels addictive. It feels right, but I don't know if it is. It's usually not a good thing, Arden. <laughs> no. I assume you're keeping it under control, though. Uh, no, I, I haven't done it accidentally or anything. And... That's the first time I've even been able to break out of it and do anything with it. But I, I feel like if I could harness this right, it could be valuable for us. It would be outside the orthodoxy of practice magic um, and could potentially be a one-up on Munis or anybody else that tries to get in our way. But I just don't know what it is yet. Just don't, don't get too lost in it then. Well... I'm doing better to, to keep a grip on reality. That's why I prefer that you're around when I do it. I know it was hard the first time to snap me out of it, but I wasn't even really sure what was going on. But you are a big help in that regard. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how I was helpful. It was more Sam that kind of snapped you out of it. The first time. But you have a very calming presence, and you're kind, and you've helped anchored me when things were not well. So I guess I just want you around. I'll, I'll stick around. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about that. Good. Let's go get some sleep before we set the horse on fire. Well, I was going <laughs> to say, but I don't want to sleep outside. Pass out here. Oh, it's been a long day. I'm sorry, just one more thing before I go to bed. Do you... Do people from Bismatum know constellations? Yeah. What's your favorite one? <laughs> oh, oh, God! That was, that was not... Sorry. <laughs> um, Arden, I don't, I don't have a favorite. I've never actually thought about this too much. You never looked at the stars? Well, I, I do. I just never... I guess put too much thought into them. Okay, that's okay. 
Well, we can't see it from here because of the trees, but perhaps when we get to Bismatum, I can point out Armin of the Southern Cross. He's, uh, it's a constellation that um, I was told if I ever like clean sauce, I could follow to come home because it will take me south. Um, yeah. I've never heard of that one. I guess we must have different names for them where we're from. That's possible. I, in fact, I kind of expect it, but I, I was, would, I would love to learn them though. Do you know them all? Uh, Arden looks up at the sky. I don't think I know them all. Um, but I, I know a number of them. <laughs> you should just be a dick and go, what's that one? That <laughs> <laughs> okay, was very tempting. Okay, okay. No, no, do it, do it. <laughs> Babata would ask innocently. <laughs> oh, God. It's like, what you did is like, like a trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Just like... What's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> so is Bada just pointing in the sky asking no, about constellations? No, no, That's how we pan no, out. No, no. <laughs> we'll have we'll have time to look at the stars. Okay. But uh yeah, we should probably get to bed. Yes. Let's do that. The Curse of Karasa is a production of Reno Area Anthropomorphic Arts and Recreation for BLFC 2023. This episode was edited, mixed, and mastered by AJ the Ratty. Yima Quinn is our game master and the voice of Zoss and the NPCs. Arden Renshaw is played by Hawkfeather. Theron Perch is played by Disharm's Pony. Bada Amica is played by Dabbles. Samuel Horstrom is played by Damic Cretu. Original music by Fox Amore. You can find more music from Fox Amore at foxamore.bandcamp.com and on Spotify. For more information about BLFC, the theme, and the lore behind your favorite characters and settings, visit goblfc.org. There in towns or anything you wanted to stop by in? Um, Theron was only aware of Bismatum. Uh, I don't think there's anything between Burnworth and Amon, is there? Uh, Alindal? Yeah. But, oh, but, yeah, that little tiny crossroads town or whatever it is? Because you're just talking about being hangry. There's, all <laughs> there's a small little dot of an unnamed spot. Cool. Let's make it up. It's called Albert Turkleton. Drugs are bad. <laughs> it looks like there is a road. There is a road. There is a road. I are we following a road? We should follow. probably. Oh my! I think we don't want to go to Bismatum. <laughs> like, like, like. Why is this so hard? <laughs> Because oh the road is very windy. <laughs> it's like we're just finding any reason. It's like, oh, look at that rock. It's like, but we're going to... No, let's stop and look at the fucking rock. <laughs>